Red Wizard here, showing you how to collage. Today we're going to talk about composition. Now, composition is really just a fancy way to say an arrangement. With collage, we're arranging things on paper. We're not painting, we're not drawing, so we really want to get a good eye for composition. And the only way we could do that is by looking at other works of art and obviously practicing too. But for this video, we're gonna look at some of my collages and I'm gonna talk about the elements of art that make them a good composition. We're gonna be looking at the layers and I'm gonna kind of show how I built them. Just, just a smidgen, okay? I'd rather us look at some uh, work, not get too technical and just talk about the elements of art here a little bit and how it relates to composition. The first element of art we'll talk about here is balance. Looking at this collage, it's balanced. Why? Because we have some symmetry and there's a fun relationship with color here. It's not all over the place. When I made this collage, I chose a orange and reddish things, brown things and yellowish things that all seem to go together and it creates a pleasing sense of balance. This collage here has balance as well. And I did my best to center um, 3.14159265358979323846. It goes on forever. Uh, pi, and again, I found relationships with color. There's something else going on here too. There are hints of movement. Movement is another word that makes you sound smart when you're talking about artwork. Just say, hey, grandma, movement. She'll have no idea what you're talking about. But if you show her this collage, you can show her the movement. Now with this collage, I found this cool swirly image of crystals and I wanted to make a collage that celebrated that. And so I found this, I made this girl, you know, hatching out of an egg. And this collage is only three layers, but believe it or not, I spent quite a bit of time moving the elements, moving the girl, moving the egg on the paper to try to really make it look like the crystals and everything were flowing out. And there was kind of this swirly motion going on. So movement makes for um, a good composition. Now certain movements feel balanced, right? Whoops, this is an in progress right now. I was uh, making this on TikTok. If you don't follow me on TikTok, please follow me on TikTok. I have over 72,000 followers right now. You know, who's counting? I am, and I'm sure you are too. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I make fun videos on TikTok, and that's what I was doing here. Ah, yes. Space. Space is an important thing, especially with collaging, guys. I always recommend when you're making some of your first collages, you want to try to create depth. I feel like a lot of bad collages just feel like very, like, flat things, Okay. It doesn't have any breathing room. It doesn't go outwards. It doesn't have any depth, go for depth. When we're talking about space, some fancy words are foreground, middle ground, and background. And the awesome thing about collaging is you could just make those with three different images. I mean, the real workhorse here for the foreground are these big hands, okay? Then I would argue that, you know, this guy's, you know, somewhat in the middle ground here. And then my background is two pictures, but what's really doing it is the depth of this photograph back here. This is a cave. You can see there's some people right there too. Space, depth, that is huge when you're making a collage. Here's some more movement. This one's called play. Um, not that many layers, but again, I found an image that had some movement to it. And I really wanted to bring it out, you know? And um, the balance that I felt 
looking at these this image as I put it together was this background image, just these like colors really reminded me of a like abstract expressionist painting, big regions of color have an impact, you know? So I don't know. I've always really enjoyed this collage. I think I'm going to have to um, blow this one up, make, make it bigger. I mean, make it bigger. Okay. Let's take a look at this. This is another uh, collage I made on TikTok. Quarter million views. <clears throat> Shh. That was a fan somewhere or something. Let's start with foreground, middle ground, background. Find a cool background image or something that has depth to it and build on that. So in this collage, my middle ground was going to be this TV. But then I found this. The image on the television wasn't that cool. It was kind of cool. But not as cool as this eyeball. Okay. I love this collage. I'm sorry, guys. So we have our eyeball here. And then I use this uh, girl as my foreground. And she kind of extends from middle ground to foreground. Again, I'm using these terms loosely. The photograph she was in already naturally played with depth, right? Her hands are like real big, way up in the front, and then uh, her body's extending out to the vanishing point. There's really no way not to sound woo-woo, sound a little silly when you're talking about composition, because the only way to get there is to really look at art and enjoy it. And uh, don't be afraid to look at a few artists and kind of try to mimic their style. You know, if you're just getting into art, I could share with you a couple of my favorite artists that might help you along the way. Okay, if you don't know about him already, Salvador Dali is a, a huge inspiration. He's a surrealist. I consider myself a surrealist. You probably know Salvador Dali from... Uh, painting like this. This painting is called The Persistence of Memory. You've probably seen it before. Now, Salvador Dali is a master. If we could just take one of his mustache hairs, okay, that's going to be w worth more than gold in our surrealist universe. Let's pretend this is a collage for a minute, and I think it'll help us see it a little bit better. We have a beach background with a couple of square cube-like images, dead tree, and a couple of melting clocks, and this weird face image on the ground. There's space, there's depth, there's balance. My favorite Salvador Dali work of art, the lobster phone. Juxtaposition, contrast, combining things that normally don't go together. Lobster phone. Yes, it's silly, but you could probably remember a time that you got an awful, awful phone call. All right, ladies and gents, this is the time that I say all of that typical YouTube stuff. Please follow, please subscribe, and please leave a comment. Let me know, has this video been helpful for you? Let me know in the comments if there's any other videos you would like me to make. The next videos we're going to have, we are going to make a full-blown composition together. We're going to make a collage together. Then I'm going to make another video about gluing. And on and on and on until I have exhausted collage making and all of its glory. I'm the Red Wizard. Thank you so much for watching.